We're here at the Center for Machine Intelligence. We're organizing our first showcase event, which is bringing together researchers across the university and industry from outside the university coming together to talk about AI, machine learning and autonomous systems. We're going to make a start. We've got a very packed program this morning. Really, today is about building those connections with industry and students and researchers across the faculty and the university. So co-create some of these big research questions discuss difficult topics and, and, and investigate a bit more the technical challenges that underpin some of the AI and machine learning applications that we're trying to develop. After that, we have our panel made up of the top guys from the government, from the university, discussing some key topics and challenges that the community faces. How do we provide the sophisticated level of autonomy we know we need in the future? At that point there will be enormous pressure to get that human out of the loop. There are certain things we can predict but we can't predict moods with very high accuracies. The way that we uh, see uh, AI technologies developing is as a tool to help people. So we think this is a tremendous opportunity, a tremendous chance for a centre to start experimenting with the things that we have in policy and the things where policy can actually get turned into action. Some really deep thinking going that was just really important for the work we've been doing, particularly around security. My research is about new approaches to archaeology using deep learning with remote sensor data. So we are using LiDAR data and aerial photography. These are examples of interesting archaeological um, sites that it has found and that we're not necessarily looking for. I design acoustic monitoring devices for conservation and ecology and it's used around the world um, for all sorts of applications like gunshot monitoring, uh, cicada monitoring, bat monitoring. We use um, onboard detection algorithms to lower the power of a device so it can last longer in the environment that it's in. Um, constantly listening for gunshots we can detect for about 400 days um, listening continuously. The UK has yeah, a fantastic capability in this area. We, we lead, we're actually a leading authority in machine intelligence and this really puts Southampton on, on that, you know, that very important map. And the thing that really was very impactful for me was that the demonstration that deep learning seems to be marginally better than the human being. I'd really like to understand that a little bit more. This challenge involved you building a computer vision system, a machine learning system, that could classify an image as belonging to one of 1,000 classes. In 2012, the error rate was just under 30%. In 2015, we exceeded human level performance on this task. So you know, they, they touched on all the points that are of real concern for us. Ethics, uh, accountability, responsibility, understandability. How do we make these things you know, really transparent so that users, when they are presented with this information, that is given to them by the machine, they trust it. And by bringing together academia, industry, and different areas of research in days like today, helps us to understand well, what else are we missing. So the sort of uh, AI work that's having an impact now started 15, 20 years ago in universities. The key thing is that we are nowhere near having general AI, robots that will run the world. Is that possible in the future? Philosophical question. We certainly need new leaps forward, completely innovative new lines of research. So this slide is the world's shortest tutorial on machine learning you will ever see. All useful applications of artificial intelligence can be mapped to somewhere on this slide. So the idea is to build low-cost sensors which can be mounted on motorbikes uh, so they can go around in the city and collect the data related to uh, air pollution. With a showcase event like this, the idea is to try and show the best we have from Southampton in the areas of AI, machine learning and autonomous systems. And through that, today I think we've achieved our goal of getting people to talk about those big questions that our society faces. Big ethical questions around the use of data, the use of drones. And I think we've started to evolve some common understanding of what the big challenges are. Can we look at designing, you know, defining conditions under which we would say yeah, AI is working in a responsible way, is controllable, is being trustworthy and is reliable. We're tackling these problems not purely at a theoretical level. 
but also looking at the wider societal and economic implications that will impact not just on the UK, but the whole wide world.